Hello and welcome to RetroAxis. My name is Chris Tuss and I'll be your host. The Commodore 64 included a basic runtime that allowed you to write your own programs. However, there were also other programming languages that were made available. In today's first of a four-part series, we will take a look at some of the Pascal compilers that were available for the Commodore systems of the day. In this episode, I'll be using a C64 Mini to demonstrate some of the example programs which I've written, and also to walk you through some of the quirks and features of these compilers. Be sure to log on to our website at www.retroaxis.info, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. In this part of the series, we're going to look at Cayenne Pascal. Cayenne was available on several of the retro computers of the time, including the Apple II and Atari computers. One thing that I really like about Cayenne Pascal is its simplicity. It's got you know very straightforward menuing system, using usability is very simple, and my favorite feature is by far the full screen editor that it provides. So taking a quick look, we can load a couple of the example programs. I actually spent the time to copy a uh, program directly out of the user manual, and I called it the axis, but this is the example that shows you a sprite um, in the actual um, example. And here you can look and see, you know, this has got um, a bunch of types defined, variables, uh, it's using pointers, um, pointer assignments, it's got sprite graphics, uh, a whole bunch of things happening here. Compiling is very straightforward, you press C to compile. And now it's uh, going to take just a second. It's ready. No errors. And I'll now run this program. It's uh, actually loading. It'll take here just a second. And then we should see a red box appear. This program allows you to put in coordinates, which will then make the box move around. So as it's loading, uh, there's our red box. So now I can put in some coordinates. I can say, you know, uh, 50 space 50 and the box moves. I can try 100, 100. Box moves over there. I can try 150, 150, or I can do 150, 80. And you can see my red box is jumping around various coordinates on the screen. So this validates that uh, this program uh, does work. Now let's take a look at a different example. So in this example, we're going to use a file that I've written called New Axis. And this file is a very simple example. It's the same example you'll see throughout this series. Very straightforward. Essentially, they're going to, in this one, we're going to clear the screen, prompt the user for a name, and then we're going to reply with the name and then spit out a suggestion to subscribe to the channel. So first and foremost, verify, yes, this is the file. Compile it. Now there's one additional step. If you want to uh, build this file, in other words, you want to make this distributable on a disk where you can have this file be placed onto a floppy or an image that you can then distribute, you must click build. And what build will do is we'll actually add some additional files here with the same name. You'll notice one called new axis dollar sign and one that says new axis with a percent symbol. The dollar sign is actually your compiled object file and the percent sign is your actual binary file. So we can run it just to verify that it works and it does. Now let's quit to Commodore basic and see if we can run this standalone. So first let's go ahead and load the directory listing. And we can verify that indeed we can see the disk from Commodore Basic. We'll now load our new axis binary. And we'll go ahead and type run. And here we go. Same result. Screen has been cleared. Prompt for my name. Thanks for watching. So that's it for the quick overview of Cayenne Pascal. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.